guys, this is tutorial number 6 for silence 12.1. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do a synchronous 4-bit counter. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So go ahead and go to symbols. What I need for a synchronous 4-bit counter, I need 4 uh, JK flip-flops and 2 end gates. So I'm going to go ahead and build my my synchronous counter. Alright guys, so I finished building my synchronous 4-bit counter. As you can see, I have 4 flip-flops and uh, 2 end gates. And the thing I did was to connect my input to my first flip-flop to a high. And then to every output of a flip-flop, I connected an output. That way I'm able to see my count. And then all the flip-flops are connected to one clock. Then the next thing you guys have to do is go ahead and do a test bench to check it. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I, just for reference, I grabbed the flip-flop from the Silence library. You guys can make your own, but I decided to go with this one. And all I did was read the specifications on it. And the way you do that is... Um, Go ahead and right click on this, this symbol, whichever symbol you want to get information from. Go down on symbol, then symbol info. And then this will tell you what the symbol is used for and how you can use it. The, this is a very helpful tool. And you could do it basically on anything. So that will help you out in the future. Now, make sure you check your schematic. So right click on, I mean, click on tools. Go to check schematic. Make sure you have no errors, have no errors or warnings. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the test bench for it to check it. So let's go to, go to the design window. Right click. Create your test bench like I showed you guys in the previous tutorial. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. 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 Okay. So the first thing you guys have to do is make sure that. Your clock, your clock is set as input, and you have your outputs here. And then just go down, go ahead and go ahead and delete the if statement here, and just leave the initial begin. Make sure you put an end for the initial begin. And then the next step is to go ahead and do a a um, loop for the clock. No. Comment here, clock. And the way you do a loop is uh, right always begin. And then I'm gonna put a count ten clock. Go to, you have to put a uh, count 10 clock echo and then the this is squiggly line and then clock what this will do is will, uh, alternate your clock so it will be low high low high and it'll keep going and then make sure you put your end and then let's save it make sure you go to simulation select test bench Check the syntax and then do the behavioral to see our outputs. 
Now, make sure you minimize it because you won't be able to see anything here unless you minimize it. So, I minimized it and if you actually check it, this will be my clock. You can see it's alternating up high, low, high, low, high. And then my output is actually, I'll be counting up to 15, 0 to 15. So in hex, it'll be 0 to F. Okay, guys, so that's it. Good luck.